Does the faith of the uh, deputy minister designate for education remains unclear as her name was expunged or is excluded from the second batch of deputy ministers approved by parliament. Now, give to Chuman Pofo in care thereof of the minority in parliament after she allegedly accosted Tamale North member of parliament who had indicated his decision to vote against her nomination in an altercation. The appointment committee failing to reach a consensus on her vetting over her conduct removed her name. Here's a report by Kumla Kluche. For the records, we are told that after the vetting, she accosted you, both of you uh, had some sort of altercation where she had said to you that yes, your vote is just one. Uh, you can go to hell, if I have to use that word advisedly, go to hell with your vote. Can you confirm to us, did that happen? Well, um, that is why I have started by saying that I do not want this to be about me and how I felt. I want it to be about how after my interaction with her during the vetting and after the vetting left me with the feeling that this was a nominee whose conscience was not alive to the threat of corruption, to the democracy that we practice. It shouldn't just be about how I felt when she accosted me or interacted with me after the vetting. The scene of Gifty Chuman before was described by the Tamale North MP after her vetting degenerating into a controversy that has seen her appointment hanging, attempt at begging on her behalf by senior members of the MPP and Parliament hit a snag as the minority was bent on rejecting her. The appointment committee led by the second deputy speaker of parliament, Joseph Osewusu, had no option. Mr. Speaker, after a meeting this morning, we have agreed that the nominee on whom there's no agreement will be removed from the report. We will take the rest of the report and then the issue relating to her will further consult before the next report is made. Emotional, Gifty Chumampofo was consoled by the Women Caucus in Parliament as she could not get the approval. The decision was reached as sources within the appointment committee indicated the majority side was not ready to trigger a voting process which may give her an escape route onto the list. Gifty Chumampofo at her vetting came face to face with allegations of bribery at her primaries, an allegation she blatantly rejected. When you talk of primaries here and you talk of general elections here, Honorable Chair, I can't understand the comparison. Here. And I've never accused Ambassador Victor Smith of giving money. Never. It remains unclear. The decision the House will later take on her, despite the approval of other nominees. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Accra. And now the minority in Parliament will file a motion for a bipartisan probe into government accusation of the Sputnik V COVID vaccines. The minority leader, Harun Idrisu, informed Parliament the motion will be filed next week as the deal over the vaccine stinks. For the records, we are told that after the vetting, she accosted you, both of you uh, had some sort of altercation where she had said to you that yes, your vote is just one, uh, you can go to hell, if I have to use that word advisedly, go to